If you're an Xbox fan getting a little antsy to learn about the next generation, you won't have to wait too much longer. It was rumored the highly anticipated next generation Xbox, codenamed Durango, would be announced on April 26th, but... Windows watcher Paul Thorat recently revealed the real date that we can all mark on our calendars. Um, now they're going to announce it May 20, you know, May 21st. Um, we know that there are events occurring this year where we're going to learn more about Durango. Right? And it's, it's a fourth quarter uh, release, right? Early November, yeah. Events like the Electronic Entertainment Expo set for mid-June and Build Windows taking place at the end of June in San Francisco. There they will talk about Durango's developer story. The Verge report sources familiar with the plans for the new generation revealed that the May event will be a small venue and put emphasis on providing the details of Durango. Which isn't exactly a bad thing when you take a look at all the rumors that have been festering about what users can expect from the upcoming Xbox. Especially the dreaded always online rumor that led gamers to believe they would have to be connected to the internet in order to play. And if you didn't catch the memo, that rumor may be true. Microsoft Studios creative director Adam Mort published a tweet that could potentially crush the dreams of all the non-connection believers. He wrote, sorry, I don't get the drama around having an always on console. Every device now is always on. That's the world we live in. Deal with it. Microsoft later released an apology for that little rant. The design is also a big feature users are wondering about, not only for the console, but also on what the controller might look like. The price, of course, is also a hot topic for rumor and speculation, two things Microsoft insists the company will not comment on. Regardless of what's true and what's not, bottom line, when the new Xbox is revealed next month, whether you love it or hate it, you'll just have to deal with it. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.